shifter guys this thing is sweet i can't wait to show you that In today's video i'm going to open it up unbox it and basically show you what's in the box then we're going to go ahead and install it then of course we're going to drive around with this thing and see how it works so as always please subscribe to the channel if you find this helpful and we're going to get right to it all right what's going on guys here it is the tick t56 shifter which i'm also going to use later i'm going to get the tremic magnum f body uh transmission this works on both so right now we want to improve our shifts man this thing's so beautiful so i went ahead and took it out of the box and just kind of quickly put the bolts on here for the shifter just to kind of show you guys a little bit what it looks like and man i gotta tell you this thing looks phenomenal I mean, it's so beautiful. I hate to put even a boot on this thing. <laughs> um, it's got the nice six pattern shift here. Got a really nice tick logo right here. Very cool, as well as on the base of it. Man, the quality of this, you can tell this is made in USA. And it's not only made there, but they build all the parts and it's all USA sourced parts as well. So really rock solid and they're from one of my favorite states north carolina those guys when you talk to them on the phone the nicest staff and to me that goes a long way when you're working with a company so i wanted to you know thank these guys for uh sponsoring this video this thing is going to be amazing and i can't wait to get it in there but let's go over a few things here so first of all we have a weighted shift ball this thing the quality of this is incredible too so I kind of went ahead and just started that on there. So this is pretty nice and it's got a lock nut that kind of goes on there. It also has these two nice Allen um, bolts here, Allen head. Uh, so super nice and you can tell the quality of this is pretty amazing. Um, it's got a nice sort of isolated boot here that kind of covers everything up. Kind of looking at it from underneath, this is what's really cool. Look at this, it's got its own O-ring. So you can see there, no more RTV. You just put this on there and that thing's ready to go. It's got some high temperature grease, some very high quality grease that's also in, inside of there. So I won't have to mess with that. And just overall, man, the way this thing feels is pretty amazing. So I am super excited to put this uh, tick shifter in the, in the fireball mullet. This thing is gonna be so badass and I can't wait for it. Also, I've got the, the bronze bushing here as well to replace the nylon one, the cup that's inside the, the existing one. And then of course we got the bolts to actually bolt it down. So they include all the hardware. And then of course I got a sticker and uh, so we'll find a choice spot for that. But this is the part guys. Right there's the cup bushing, the stock one. We got that out. Any kind of old silicone in a shifter. Carefully, just there's not that much left on here, honestly. Then I like to take a soft brass brush like this, that way it doesn't scratch or mar the surface, and go ahead and clean it up from there. Yeah, it comes off nice, it doesn't gouge it. And I'll go ahead and just put a little bit of brake clean, get the final part. Nice and clean, yeah. All right, guys, then we'll go ahead and put this in next. Kind of, okay, where it's pretty, uh, 
you can feel it kind of seed in there so it's nice and straight. Go ahead and got that flush. Looks nice sitting in there. And uh, that's really it. Now we'll go ahead and uh, put the shifter on. All right, guys, again, this one has the O-ring all the way around it. So it's going to seal for you. And it's going to seal repeatedly uh, when you take it off. So let's go ahead and it's in the coupler. Kind of line the holes up. It's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and get the new bolts that we have for this. Go ahead, here are the new bolts here. We'll go ahead and start them. Remember, you're working with aluminum here, so. Don't put your impact on it. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is put this stock boot over top of it before I put the handle on. So let me try that. So we'll go ahead and put this stock boot on first. You just really hate to cover this beautiful shifter up. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we got the lower boot on. We're going to go ahead and get this shifter handle on. And look at the precision. And that's one of the things I love about Tick Performance. If you follow them on Instagram at Tick Performance, I mean, look at that. That is a work of art. And it's machined where this thing is super strong and just goes in there. Now all the specs on what metals they use and everything else is on their website. I encourage you to check it out. Top top grade materials so I'll go ahead and get this going all right boys and girls just like that we got a shifter in the hard work's done and it's really not hard I mean this is some pretty easy stuff here so what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put the ball on for now and just kind of make sure this thing shifts okay before I put everything back together. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to temporarily put the shifter knob on. I'm just going to see how it feels, make sure everything's good to go. And uh, we don't even have to put the lock nut on yet. Let's just see how this thing feels here. I'm not going to put it on all the way. All right. Oh my God. Wow. All right, guys, got everything back together. Except I did crack one of the switches here. My bad, I actually got this caught in between a couple pieces here, so I actually broke the switch. But anyway, uh, we got everything nicely uh, put back together. And now we're gonna go ahead and put, the, put on the shift ball. You know, I really need to get a new plate here, uh, but in a new, the proper shift boot here. But, uh, we'll go ahead and go with this for now. And this is going to be basically your jam nut. So once you get it to the height or the position, you can just kind of tighten it up with this. So I'm just going to run it all the way down first. We'll go ahead and put on this new tick shifter ball in this. Spin that on. There we go. And then 
we'll just come back, get it all set. We'll just tighten it down like that. There it is, guys. We got the shifter in, and it looks great, man. I hated to cover that beautiful shifter up, but you got to do it. So we'll go ahead and, uh, man, we're going to go ahead and try this thing out next. Let's make sure everything's good here. And then we'll go for a drive. Whoa, this is crazy. This thing has never been this short, smooth. And I really, I can't really wait to upgrade to the, to the uh, Magnum F transmission. That's going to be next. And that's going to make it even more butter. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let's give you a little top hand view here. There's one, two, three, four. Man, this is nice. You can tell the quality and just the way it shifts. So the real proof is gonna be when we take a drive, so we're gonna do that next. All right, guys, let's go for a ride.
out and grow this channel. I really appreciate all you guys that uh, have stuck with me and I really enjoy all the comments and interacting with you guys. I read all the comments. 